Hey friends, um, today I'm making my Giant Life card, art card, and it's all about vacations, and um, so what I'm going to do is, you're supposed to write down your vacation, um, some things about your vacation, I have a do a vacation theme, and that's what I'm planning to do for my Giant Life today, for my Giant Vacay. So maybe it's a, a, a vacay I would, I'd like to take, or just a brain vacay or whatever. I'm putting some Mod Podge on, but that's what I'm just doing. I'm just going to have a fun with it because I have no plans right at this moment. I don't have any, um, so yeah, you know, the summer stuff, you know, you go on maybe camping or whatever here and there, but there's nothing planned out yet. So I have these. Oh, wow. These are so old. These are old squares from when we first started International Crafters, I was making these um, twinchies, just marking up paper, and uh, yeah, I think I marked them up and cut them into twinchies. I can't remember how it went, but now I am using them to cover my page. This is like over three years ago, guys, When <laughs> so that's a long time. They're still in my junk bucket. I have my junk bucket here that I'm going to use this summer. So, that's the plan. I have all the papers and all the stuff for crafting up here that is in this particular shelving that I got is going to be is going to be used this this year. It's not allowed to go back downstairs for the next season when I'm more down there. <laughs> so I'm just going to rip this up and make this my top paper, whatever, what have you. I'm just going to tear a little piece off of this one to stick this guy right here. Put that guy there. I have another yellowy orange one. And I have another purpley one. Look at that. Isn't that fun? Colorful. I got a lot of paint on here now. <laughs> or I mean, um, decoupage. I'm using the blast of my balls. That's why it's on the side so I can reach it. There we go. I'm going to dry that up. That's going to be fun. Uh, that's a lot. I know, but I'm at the bottom of my barrel with this, so we're using this up. And now that's going to be my base that I work off of. I'm going to dry this up. Right. Here it is. It's pretty cool. I like that. It's really neat background now. I'm going to, I'm just kind of going winging with, winging it, winging it, winging it. And I'm going to, I want to do a cartoon. I'm going to do a Snoopy. I haven't done a Snoopy in a while. So, what do I start with? I'm going to start with the Snoopy and work. I know it's kind of crazy. I'm going to start with the Snoopy first. Then I'm going to work my way to whatever. And I'm not a great Snoopy drawer. I don't even know if I've ever drawn him before. Maybe when I was a kid. But I just thought, no, oh, that's a um, cute character. So we'll just do Snoopy. I'm doing Gesso first just to kind of outline him. I think. <laughs> And let's see, his neck should be right about here. His body is just kind of like a triangle with feet. 
See, it's not too, just kind of get the shape of him. Um, get that. We'll draw in the rest. And he's got four fingers. So making him a little hand here. He's gonna have a little beach towel. And then I don't know, like I'll work if I do the sand or or maybe I'll just leave him in the hmm. Maybe I'll leave him in this bunny all in this color. I don't know yet. Okay, I'm gonna actually make him with a pair of shorts on. I think I'll box this off a bit more, making him too round. Too maybe too chunky. He's a chunky Snoopy on this vacation. Well, he must have had a lot of snacks. Alright, that's about Snoopy and maybe his ears. Um, I think his nose is probably a little more round, but that's about his silhouette in gesso. So, just going to work with that. And that's all we can do. I kind of like doing like little silhouettes um, and then paint them in. Sometimes, especially when I'm doing cartoons, mostly when I'm doing like little cartoony things, it's, it's pretty easy that way for the background. And then I'll cover up this color and then I'll be able to put my colors of him, um, like his white, and not have all that background color in there. So that's Snoopy on vacay. So I'm just doing a vacation scene. That's what I'm doing. There he is. There's a silhouette. Isn't that cute? I mean, it's cute. Dripping my paint. Oops. Dripping my paint. Nah. Okay. I have my bottle sideways. It's a little getting a little low, but I don't think it's getting that low. I'm just going to do a white over top now. And then I think I'm going to go with Posca pen. For his lines, just because it's easy that way, and I could, and I got them. So Snoopy doesn't have too much color. He's just uh, white and um, with the black lines. So we'll just do that. I'm gonna put sunglasses on him, I think, and shorts. Make him a pair of shorts. <coughs> And turn off my sound on my phone. Let's see here. There we go. And we'll have this guy done in no time. He's so cute. So yeah, I'm just going to go over and white. Just to crisp it up. Make it not so transparent. And have Snoopy's furs all the way they're supposed to be. And it's kind of hard to go white on white, but you'll be able to see the gesso, I think, with the paint. There we go. I can anyway, so. And I'm using um, Americana multi-purpose, multi-surface satin. And it's got a sheen. This particular paint has a, has a sheen on it, so that's how I can tell. Um that it is covered. And I don't have his little fingers really nice. Aww, we'll do a little bit better job on that. There we go. Gotta do my best. Gotta do my best. Make Snoopy look cute. There is Snoopy. Didn't want to pour out a bunch of white for that. There is Snoopy ready I don't know to go. Where my thin. My thin doodly pasta pen went. I don't know if I could do this with this one. First of all, I'll work on his scribbly ears. This is not too much into that, and then I'll do the outline. I didn't want to say I wanted the thin pasta. 
it'll work. And then I wanted to put some sunglasses on Snoopy. And this Pasca pen might be too thick to outline you. We'll see. I don't know where I put my Pasca. So this one is like a pair of sunglasses like this. And they loop down. And they loop this way. And then the edges go out. So, he's a chilled Snoopy. I found a little reference picture on um, Pinterest, and I'm going with that. You know what? I'm not liking his glasses. We could fix that up a bit. Okay, let's go over a little bit, because I don't like the way they are. Oop, I got a little white on my drop paper, so I'll just use that. I might have to go over with gesso. I'll have to do that over again. I didn't like the way that was sitting on his face. Hmm, really smearing. Probably should have went over with the gesso. Dried it up a bit. It'll take a few uh, layers here to fix it up. Snoopy, you're looking a little sunburn. <laughs> Poor guy, need some sunscreen. And I think I covered that up. Just a little bit playing with it now, friends, because I kind of just didn't like the way his glasses were sitting. So I'm just adding the leftover paint all over here. Where I think I could see through too a little bit. Might as well. Okay. Snoopy's a little bumpy too. I'm going to work on the glasses in a second here. I think I could have made his head a little bigger, but that's Snoopy for now. That's Snoopy for now. Gonna get around his hands, all that kind of stuff, and outline this little guy. There we go, get his toes. This is his foot. And his nose other hand we're getting it okay Snoopy's looking a little chunky <laughs> back with the glasses um, I want him a little bit more styling And that part's really not dry yet. 
of sticky. Behind the ears. Yeah, just to have them a little bit off the face. Just like that, a little bit cuter. And there's his glasses. I just gotta get the paint to dry. So I would probably have to let this dry a little bit more if I was wanting it to. To look just perfect. I mean, I'm trying, but I don't want to stop. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, this part right here is really wet. Right in this eye right here. Probably messing up poor little Snoopy because I'm not being patient. There is little vacate Snoopy. I'm gonna make him his towel. I'm gonna try Posca pen. I could see if I could uh, paint it, but I'm gonna try some Posca. See how that that works. If it'll cover or not. This is some pink. And I'm going to do some green, just some stripes. There we go. Pink. And then a little green again. And then that's his towel. There we go. And a little bit more Posca pan on that. Just like that. And that's his towel. That's cute. Snoopy with this towel. Don't know if I want to do any grains of sand or not. Let's see. Um, I might just put him on a little bit of a sand hill for the fun of it. Just for the fun of it. So I'm going to use some brown sugar. See, that's what I mean. I could, could have put the sand hill in the background and that kind of thing and worked my way up but I'm kind of just starting with my focal point and working my way around so on the cartoons he's on those little they're all um, actually I think it's the other guy but they're always on the baseball mount and all that kind of stuff so I'll just make it look like a mount maybe he's just dreaming of a vacation he's back home on the baseball field so Gotta be very careful. Try. Oh, and I gotta do his shorts yet too. I almost forgot. So I do. I didn't do the white gesso behind. We'll see if that was a mistake. Probably was. <laughs> you can great see right through it. There we go. I might have to do a couple layers. 
because I did not do the gesso. Okay. I'm thinking I will because, uh, yeah, you can see pretty good through it. And there is Snoopy on his mountain, his little hill. I think it's going to be like his baseball mountain or baseball hill that everyone sits on. And he's probably dreaming of a vacation. So that's that. What else should I do? Maybe I'll do some white clouds, but I'll do them with gesso. I'll do some white fluffy clouds. And then I'll do them with just gesso, maybe some um, paint over it, but white paint over that. And there's one white cloud. <laughs> I'm not going to do the blue sky because I have that neat background, so and I really like that. There's one. another we'll do the third cloud just to keep in threes for so this one we got one Snoopy and three clouds and I know Snoopy has a little friend but I don't know I just want to, I don't know if I feel like drawing him I think I'm just gonna draw that little bird I think I'm just gonna draw Snoopy though is it bad not to draw his little birdie friend? Maybe he wants a vacation from the birdie friend. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway. I think this is cute. Cute, cute, cute. I am actually have a little idea. I'm going to draw... I'm going to paint some gesso here and draw some water. So he's on his little baseball mount or a baseball mount when they play baseball. Or his pitcher mount. Was he the pitcher? No, it was the other guy. Anyway. And I'm going to draw that mount as a little island. So this stuff that I'm coming up with here is just off the top of my head just to make it fun. <laughs> just the Snoopy part I had um, inspiration but the rest of it I'm just kind of going with the flow so there we go that's cute okay I wonder if I should have a tree a palm tree I will just wait on the oops I keep losing my I will wait on the water right now I'm gonna give it a dry up so I'm trying to figure out if I want to use deep I think I'm gonna use coastal waters for the water and I did put a second coat on the little beach mound and I put the white paint on the clouds just you guys have to watch me do that and I don't know how much water I'm gonna need <laughs> and I'm thinking still that I want to put a palm tree behind Snoopy somewhere here. And yeah. So one step at a time. I got something in my mind. So we'll see how that works. And there is his nice coastal waters. <laughs> Cute. Now, let's see. Gesso. Do I want to put... Oh, I should actually just play with his shorts for a little bit. Play with his shorts. Oh, maybe I'll do uh, red and orange. We're going to do some flowers. Why not? do orange dot and we'll 
we'll see how that works. Go from there. If I had my smaller end pen too, I'd be able to go around those flowers really easily. I'm not going to be able to go so easily around those flowers to outline them with such a big nib on my Posca pen. So easily. Give a little heat. grab my Posca and try to get around. I can't even see my little flower center. I'll try my best. I'll have to dab some more um, in there. Some more orange or maybe yellow maybe orange is too close to the red probably yellow center is much better and then i will go with a very or maybe a little blue shorts posca pens are convenient for this Because now I don't have to pull out the paintbrush, very fine paintbrush. I'm kind of going really backwards, right? So there we go. Now perhaps we're going to think about the palm tree. I don't know if this is a mistake or not. Let's see. Mm, I'm going to go and... I think I'm going to start with the top. I'm using my gesso. I'm just going to paint around just like I've done with everything else. And just kind of play with it. Even into the clouds. It'll go green, so... Trying to get a shape of a palm tree. Not looking too palmy yet. Oh dear. Oh dear. Maybe it was just too much. All right. We'll see. The nice thing is that there is a bit of a dull to the gesso, so dullness that I could see. So when I'm on the cloud, that'll be helpful. Okay. There is my palm tree. I'm going to try to dry that up. Hopefully I'm not going to doing too much. Tosca on top of this seat. Oop, is that too wet? It's good. It's like paint. We'll see if that works. I might have to wait for this to dry up a bit more. It's a little warm. Or cool off. Don't know if that was a good choice to get that guy behind there. We will see when it's done. Maybe I should just paint them on 
So I'm just going to try for a few more seconds here. If I'm not liking how it's going, I'll paint it on. It's a little wet feeling. So that's probably just because I'm going too quick with it. I thought I'd have more control with the Pasca and I have two shades of green. Quick, I don't have to pour paint out. Because it's like wet paint in the pen, kind of. So, kind of. So, let's see. This one's just really wet. Just not waiting long enough, I think, myself. That's what I think. Okay. Mmm. Should have painted it, maybe. Now I'm going to try to get some shade in here. Let's see if I can do that. Maybe that'll help. That could help. A little shade outline, it might look like a palm tree after all. <laughs> Might be just too wet. Too fast, moving too fast. There is my palm tree. Hmm. I might have to fix that with paint. Come on, guys. Show. Making the rest of the coconut tree down here. Just doing a little triangle down, kind of. And then just down here, I'm going to make a little piece of the tree. And right here. And this is just the gesso again. Then I'm going to put the tan down, I think, for the tree here. And outline that. So that's the background of the tree back there. Kind of doing it backwards, but hey, fun. And I think that that's probably going to be, this pen is Maybe I use a too much and wet surface here. There we go. That's what I have so far. Drying this guy off is taking a while. He's taking a while. Lots of detail, I guess. <laughs> Gonna get the back of my tree or my the tree back there, and then I'm going to just, you know outline it the best I can, and then that coconut tree is going to be done. And he's even got some coconuts in there.
I want to do one more fun thing while well, waiting that tree to dry a little bit. I'm learning my lesson here a little bit. I want to put a shark fin. That's what I had a little vision of a shark fin just for the fun of it. And I'm going to go with that in the water. There we go. Get my outline of my tree here. See, I, I was actually patient and it's actually drawing on it now. <laughs> There we go, my tree. Isn't that cute? I think it's cute. I wasn't being patient up here and I'm just like, sketchy. Did I touch that shark fin? I did. Going over a few lines that I may poke out. Then go right up to the edge here. Nice thing too, Posca pen can fix up some of my messy lines. I'm going to need to get a little dot of black and make some gray and maybe I'll even put a little dot of um, blue down. Oh, I already got some coastal water so I might just use that. But what else? I'll just dab a little um, just so. Oh, I do have one, some white here so there we go. And make a little blue gray. There's my gray. Add some coastal water. And I think that shark will be really cute. Need a little bit more black in there. want it to be not quite the same as the water. A gray blue. And I think I'm done after this. Just a little outlines and anything I missed. And there's my little Snoopy vacation. My giant vacay. It's a made up vacay. <laughs> obviously. And it's fun. It was fun. There he is. So I missed up here. Some nice cloudy outline. I don't have the sun up, but that's okay. It's there. we go. Now that this palm trees are more dry, I can actually go over them a little bit more too. I was way too quick with those. Gotta be patient.
bring some little dots here and there. And I think, throw some highlights up here. On the palm tree. On the shark fin. Then I'm just going to seal everything because my Posca pen is not as shiny as my beautiful paint. <laughs> and I'm going to seal it all. I think I'm going to make a couple drips of paint splashes. If I can, and that's it. And that is my giant bakey picture. I am trying to do a little splash marks. On this shark here. <laughs> Might be too wet because I'm getting paint on my pasta. There I go again, not being patient. There we go. Lovely splash marks. I'm going to go over it with my decoupage to get a nice even sheen and to seal it up and then I'm going to um, dry that off for you guys to see it one more time and now this is it <clears throat> and I think I'm gonna write my giant bakey on it why not because that's what it's for my giant vacay and that will be my um, art card today and I'm doing it on scrap paper you can do it on mail um, I, um, playing card any kind of size don't let that you don't have a giant playing card stop you and um, like some of the other ladies have and just you can do journal page whatever have fun with it And I did. I didn't even have a vacation, and I'm not sure when my vacation's going to be. So, why not just play with it? And, and then a tea. gonna do vacay down here. V. I'm not sure I like that V position, but hey, if it doesn't come off nicely, I might have. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it on. It's sticky. It's a sticker. It's a sticker. B A C A Y. So let's do that, and then that's it. I know I'm spelling with you guys, right? Yeah, that's so fun. It's fun, fun. Sometimes when you're writing this slow, though, when you're finding stickers and you're not writing out really quickly, it's easy to get mixed up. Doesn't take much. Trust me. And let's see. Do I have a Y down here? I'm trying to go use my first page. There we go. My giant vacay. And that's it. Hope you guys like this one. That was fun. Lots of fun. I think that's it for me, my friends. I am done. Yep, yep, yep. 
missed a letter over there. Kendra's getting an alarm or something happening. And that is my wonderful page or little um, art card on scrap piece of card. Done. Thanks, friends. I hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to craft like a duck. And let's see what you got for your giant vacay. You could put your own vacation. And if you don't have one, make up a dreamy one. Bye. Don't forget to craft like a duck.